you would have noticed that we keep talking about the basic structure and the basic features quite frequently so let me give a little more clarity on these two concepts while we keep talking about the importance of the basic structure there is no one single list or document or ruling that clearly says that this is the complete basic structure of the indian constitution instead the concept is actually based on the judgments from across several landmark cases such as the kesavananda bharti case the minerva mills case the vaman rao case the indira gandhi re-election case and a few others the basic features of the constitution are given in the sr bomai judgment where the supreme court stated that the preamble is an integral part of the constitution and the basic features of the constitution are democratic form of government federal structure unity and integrity of the nation secularism socialism social justice and judicial review now if you look at the explanations about the basic structure in the landmark cases they are all based on or can be derived from the list of basic features listed in the sr bomai judgment the only critical aspect that seems to be missing is fundamental rights so to put it in a simple way these basic features plus fundamental rights together form a major part of the basic structure of the constitution of india now all these basic features are mentioned or can be derived from the preamble itself democratic is mentioned here federal structure can be derived from democratic unity and integrity are mentioned here secularism is here socialism is here social justice and judicial review can be derived from justice and fundamental rights can be derived from liberty as per the basic structure doctrine any amendment that tries to change the basic structure of the constitution is invalid so any attempt to reduce the scope of the preamble or change whatever is listed in the preamble will be invalid for example the government cannot pass an amendment that india will be a communist republic instead of a democratic republic it will be invalid because such a change will change the basic structure or the basic feature of the constitution itself the government cannot also declare that any specific religion will be the state religion or the national religion because it will be against the concept of secular which is given in the preamble so if you want to understand the basic structure of the indian constitution and list down the aspects that cannot be changed just look at the preamble